What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we are taking a look at the EZA 1972. So this watch was sent to me about three weeks ago from the brand EZA and I have been wearing it intermittently uh, throughout the past three weeks and uh, probably by the time this video is complete uh, or airs, I need to uh, have sent it back to them by then. So uh, I will be sad to see it go. So I figured I'd do a full review and impressions that I have on the watch after wearing it for three weeks. So EZA is something of an enigma. They are a micro brand. However, they are a micro brand with history. Many new micro brands coming into the market don't really have a, a history to look back on. And uh, they usually borrow heavily from brands like Omega and Rolex and other brands just to come up with ideas and they, they're borrowing and they're and they're creating somewhat of a of a, their own look but uh, a lot of times they are really uh, borrowing very heavily now EZA is a little bit different uh, they can trace their roots back to Germany in 1921 and to founder Hermann Becker the brand was well known back then for producing waterproof cases and even created their own manufacturer movements uh, since EZA also produced their own hands, dials, and cases, they actually eventually became a full-blown manufacturer, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, however, as many brands did during the uh, quartz crisis, they fell victim to the quartz crisis and went out of business. Uh, and then recently, two uh, young Dutch entrepreneurs decided to revive the brand and to do so, they relied very heavily on the brand's past. Obviously, uh, they, they revived the brand's name and they looked back to the past for inspiration for their watches. Uh, and they started out with two watches. First was the Sealander, which was a dive watch. And then they did the Air Fighter, which is a pilot's watch, obviously. So uh, a very strong entry to the market with two really cool watches. Now this is their third watch, I believe, that they've come out with. And like I said, this is the 1972. EZA really reached back into their history for inspiration and basically even bought up vintage versions of their dive watches from the 70s era to get the design right. And I really believe that they did here on this watch. Here are some of the specs. There are two versions of this watch. First, this is the 39 millimeter. It's a reinterpretation of the original design. This is a regular production model. However, they are also produced, are producing a very limited edition uh, 100 piece run that will be a 36 millimeter case. Both of them will be powered by a 2824. This is actually a prototype that, that I have that I'm using. Uh, and they are adjusted in six positions by EZA. Uh, they are both made in Germany. The smaller of the two has the date at three o'clock. Uh, so does this one, obviously. Uh, and a plexiglass uh, crystal instead of a sapphire, as this one has a sapphire crystal. Uh, and the original actually had a plexiglass, so that's the reason why they're doing that with the 36 millimeter. And the 36 millimeter has a fully synthetic bezel uh, with only 30 meters of water resistance, again, like the original. The larger 39 millimeter, which is the one that's in my hand, gets a sapphire crystal date window at three o'clock. Uh, again, stainless steel bezel with a ceramic insert here and a water resistance to 200 meters. Dials come in blue or black. And the case material on both of these are 316L stainless steel. Uh, case dimensions on the smaller one, the exact dimensions that, that the site gives are 35.8 by 44.3 millimeters. And for the larger one in my hands, 39.6, so closer to 40 millimeters uh, and 50 millimeters from uh, lug end to lug end. Both come on an Italian leather rubber strap and a leather strap. This is the Italian leather strap. And they also come in with a Tropic rubber strap. So we'll do a, a quick wrist wa a wristwatch check. Uh, so you could see the uh, watch and strap on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. 
and this strap is extremely comfortable. I actually didn't even put it on the Tropic strap. Uh, I just loved it on this strap the entire time. Uh, the Tropic strap is very nice and we'll do a, uh, a, a, a strap change just so you guys can see how it looks on that strap. But you can see it looks absolutely fantastic on this supplied Italian calf strap. Uh, so before I get into what I love, I would like to take a note and, and say that this is a loaner watch. I don't get to keep it. And as a, are giving it, they gave it to me for review and I really appreciate them sending this in for review. Um, I really like the Sealander and, uh, and I always, I really love the straps that they put them on. And I always thought they made a pretty cool watch. And when I saw this, I actually reached out to them and they very nicely sent me the watch for review. And of course, like I said, I will be returning it. So what I like, I really like, uh, what I really like is I'm so pleasantly surprised when I got the 1972 um, that the, you know, the brand, you know, like I said, was on my radar, but I didn't know that they were making such well-made watches. This watch is extremely well-made. Right out of the box, it was the first thing that I noticed um, and let me, let me let you listen to the bezel on this watch. So it is a little bit hard to grip, but I will say it sounds fantastic. It's tight. It has no wibble, no wobble. It's just very, very tight. The crown is so easy to operate. It's smooth as butter and it just feels fantastic on this watch. You know, and, and it has a, at a 2824. The watch is actually made in Germany. Um, just generally a really nice watch. The crown is so cool on this watch. It is signed. You have a very nice polished case back. The whole watch is polished. Um, and that has to be something that you like. 200 meters water resistant. Like I said, made in Germany, and it just says, as on the back here, you have a little uh, drawing of a, an engraving of a uh, diver on the case back. I don't know if you could see that. With my, with my lights here, it does uh, light up the watch very well, and it does come in as almost black in, in uh, like a black polish, and that's what it is, really. So I immediately, when I got the watch, was very pleasantly surprised. I, I really, really, it looks a lot more expensive than the uh, price that they're asking for this. So we'll get back to price, of course. Uh, the dimensions on this watch are excellent. 39 millimeters, it, it just wears perfectly. It's a very, very comfortable watch. And it's actually very thin. As you can see, the watch wears very thinly. It's, it's just a very, very nice watch to wear uh, and very comfortable. I think it's around 11 millimeters thick, uh, give or take, and it just wears very, very nicely. The uh, I really like how the bezel was applied here. It almost goes to the very edge of the actual um, uh, metal of the stainless steel. So it looks like a vintage watch where the watch was actually a one piece bezel, the, the composite that's used on the 36 millimeter. I, I think that's really cool that they did that. So it, it's also reminiscent of that. So it, it just looks really, really good. Um, I like the history behind the brand. I know it's it's a revival of the brand, but I like that there was a history and that they are really staying true to that history. They're going back and they're getting, um, you know, information on their watches and they're doing what they can to stay true to that. Um, so that's something cool and not something that you get typically from a micro brand, like I was saying before. So that's something I think that's actually special. I really like that they used an Eta Movement, the 2824, um, and it's been adjusted. And overall, I, I, it really is great that they actually kept that in the smaller movement, uh, smaller watch, even though the watch is much smaller, uh, they were able to kept, keep that, uh, that 2824 and, and it's not very thick um, at all. And, and that's a really, really good thing. Uh, and this watch it really looks wise and quality wise can compete with the likes of Longines, Rado, Oris, any really dive watch uh, from any of those major brands that they reissue.
but really at a fraction of the price but without any sacrificing of quality. I just, you know, I, I really have a lot of positive things to say about this watch. Uh, so really quickly, I'll do a, a, a strap change and then we will go into um, the uh, what I don't like. Okay, so here it is. And this is the supplied uh, Tropic rubber strap. Very soft, very supple strap. Looks really good on the wrist uh, and fits really nicely. It's uh, pretty long actually, the one that they sent me and it fits beautifully. Um, there is quick release on the Italian leather, leather strap. Very easy to get off. Uh, and then this does not, but it does come with a strap changing tool. And uh, you can see that in the um, unboxing. It also comes with another signed buckle. So you don't have to change buckles, which is nice. So you get two buckles with the watch. Um, overall, uh, I think it's a really great package. So then uh, let me just talk about what I don't like about the watch. And if you couldn't tell, there really isn't much I don't like about the watch. Um, the, the only thing I could say is that it is a high polish. So the whole watch is polished. Uh, and there is a ceramic bezel, but the ceramic bezel is, is uh, glossy. It's very easy to read and it, and it works very, very nicely. Uh, however, when, you are, um, when, you're, when you're looking at it head on, sometimes the, the case itself and the uh and the bezel it sort of uh all looks black uh because it's a high polish i actually really like it and i think it's probably true to the original so i think it really works in my opinion and uh, honestly i've very much considered buying one of these for myself because i like it so much um other than that the bezel action is a little hard however i spoke to aaron who is one of the owners of uh, the brand and he said that they are correcting that either by making it a little bit more grippy which I think that would help or uh, changing it from a I believe it's 120 to a 60 click bezel so I think that might also do the trick however as it is I wouldn't even change it I, I maybe just make the, the bezel a little bit grippier I, I, I think it's such a nice action on this watch I, I can't I can't see changing it. It just, it, it's so nice. Um, so yeah, that's all the negatives. I, I mean, I like everything about this watch. I especially like the dial, uh, the applied indices, which I didn't mention before, the blue color on this dial. It's just absolutely beautiful. It just looks really, really good. And I'm very, very, very happy with this watch. Uh, and I'm very sad to see it go. Anyway, uh, accuracy on this watch, it has been very, very accurate. And uh, this has been minus four uh, seconds a day, and I've done a bunch of tests. It actually was a little bit more accurate than that most of the time. That was probably the worst that I've gotten. Uh, but yeah, so minus four uh, per day, really not that bad, minus four seconds per day. Um, and, you know, just, just an all around really cool watch. Um, so price, both models currently are on a pre-order. And if you pre-order, they are right now at $659. The pre-order discount uh, is $100. So then at the end of the month, I think it's this month or next, uh, I'm not sure, it goes up to $759. If this watch is available still at $659, I highly, highly recommend getting this watch. If it is at $759, it is still worth the money. This watch is fantastic. And if you have a smaller wrist and you want a watch like this, they are making a hundred run limited edition in 36 millimeters at no extra cost. So you can go and buy it for 659, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I really, I, I really, really think that's really cool. Anyway, all right, now what I'll do is I'll shut off the lights and we'll do a quick loom shot and then uh, we will say goodbye. Okay guys, so here it is. Loom is excellent on this watch. Very thickly applied, I would imagine. It lasts a very long time. The bezel is loomed and the hands and just the uh, second hand there. However, the loom lasts a very long time. Like I mentioned, it's really, really nicely and generously applied. Uh, overall, I really like this watch and I will be very sad to see it go. Um, however, it does have to go back and it will probably go back uh, very shortly after I have made this video or aired this video. 
Uh, but if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. Please also don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram at watchchrisblog. And thank you for logging on.